Hello everyone. So we are going to start our new AWS Data Engineer series. In this particular series, we are going to learn all the AWS Data Engineer related topic from a basic to the advanced level. So if you are preparing for the AWS Data Engineer role, this particular series you can refer. In this particular series, what are the topics which we are going to cover and what are the topics which is required for the AWS Data Engineer role? Let's first try to understand. So what actually I will do? First I will go to the Naukri.com and I will try to show you in a job description what are the skills generally they ask which is required for a AWS Data Engineer role. So let me open a Naukri.com. So I open a Naukri.com. I have searched for the AWS Data Engineer role. So let's first understand what are the skills generally they ask as a data engineer. So if you'll see this is one of the company EY and what are the skills they are looking as a AWS data engineer. So they have mentioned skills about the EMR. They have mentioned skill for the AWS Athena, AWS Redshift. They have also mentioned the Python. They are also looking for the Snowflake or Databricks also is fine. They are also asking for the SQL. So you, you just see what are the skills generally they are asking. So EMR, Athena, Redshift, Databricks, Snowflake, SQL. These are the skills they have mentioned in the job description. Similarly, if I'll open another one. So this is also one of the job description for the AWS Data Engineer. Now here if you'll see right as a technical skills, what are the skills they are asking? They are asking Python. They are asking a SQL. In previous also, we have seen like Python they are asking, SQL they are asking. They have also mentioned the PySpark, that is an important one. And also they have mentioned the Spark SQL. From the AWS Data Services perspective, what they are looking for? They are looking for the EMR, Elastic Map Reduce. They are also looking for the Glue, where we do all the ETL. They are also looking for the Lambda. They are also looking for the S3, RDS, Redshift, CloudWatch and the secret manager and also they have mentioned data modeling schema handling which is a part of the AWS data engineer so you can see from the AWS services perspective these are the skills they have mentioned in this particular job description so we are trying to analyze all the job description and whatever the common skills which is required which is mentioned everywhere right we will try to cover each and every thing now let's analyze the next one this is also a AWS data engineer profile and uh, what actually they are looking for they have mentioned like experience of AWS services like cloud formation they have mentioned the S3 they have also mentioned the Athena Glue Glue Data Brew EMR Spark RDS Redshift DataSync DMS DynamoDB Lambda and Step Function IAM KMS, Event Bridge, EC2, SQS, SNS, Lake Formation, CloudWatch, CloudTrail. So mostly they have mentioned these are the services which is imported from a data engineer perspective. Like, and few of the skills you have seen in the previous uh, job description also like S3, Athena, Glue, EMR. Everywhere they have mentioned the Redshift and all. But here there are also mentioned couple of more like SQS, SNS, Cloud Formation, CloudWatch. So this all, this all the topic also will try to cover. And now here in the below they have mentioned in the depth about the same thing like Cloud Formation, S3, Athena, Glue, Data Brew, DynamoDB, EC2, SQS, SNS. And regarding the CICD pipeline, IAM, Python and all the other things which they have mentioned now coming to the next AWS data engineer this is also one of the AWS data engineer company name is TCS and here if you will see right what they are looking for they have mentioned the key skills like PySpark Lambda AWS Glue Amazon Redshift AWS Lambda EC2 SQL Glue Redshift these are the things they have mentioned Glue ETL is very important because here only we do all the ETL operation AWS Athena where we do all the queries Lambda is also important Glue is important Redshift is important where in each job description you might have seen this all the skills 
SQL is also very important. Python also they have mentioned. They have mentioned about the EC2 S3 and they have mentioned about the other services also. Now let's uh, do analysis of another one. And here also if you will see they are asking about the AWS, PySpark, Snowflake, Databricks. These are the things they have mentioned for the AWS Data Engineer. Now we have seen this all the job description. Now if you will see what are the common skills which they have mentioned everywhere and which we will be targeting. Now we have analyzed the, all the job description. Now what are the common skills if you will see in all the job description which is important for AWS Data Engineer right. That is a SQL. That is the most important thing. Now you might have seen the Python everywhere. Python is also very important. They have also asked about the PySpark where Databricks and uh, uh, Snowflake they have mentioned. Snowflake they have mentioned. Uh, this is a uh, mandatory for the data engineer. Okay. Now coming to from AWS side right. If you are preparing specific for the AWS data engineer role with SQL, Python and PySpark knowledge. What are the AWS services they are looking for? The first important is like S3. S3 is for the storage perspective. So this is an important one. Next is the IAM. IAM is also one service where we handle all those kind of the access related stuff. Like if you have to give the access to the services, if you have to give access to the users, all those access related stuff we handle in IAM. So this is also important. Third important one is a glue. Glue is the ETL framework where we do all the extraction transformation load. So like in other ETL right whatever the ETL operation we do like in Informatica in Azure Data Factory right. Similarly in AWS we have a AWS glue where we do all those kind of the transformation. So this is also very much important thing. Next is the Lambda. Lambda is the serverless computation. This is also important and this is mostly asking in an interview about the Lambda skills. So this also will try to cover. Now they have also mentioned about the CloudWatch. CloudWatch we generally use for the monitoring perspective. If you have to monitoring the logs, if you have to monitoring the cost for every monitoring we use a CloudWatch. So this is also important. They have also mentioned about the Athena. With the help of the Athena you can do a query. You can analyze your data. So Athena is also important which is mentioned everywhere. They have mentioned about the EMR. Like if you want to create a cluster right. It, it, the full form of EMR is like elastic map reduce. So if you have to create a cluster where you want to use a spark. This EMR will be helpful there. So EMR is also important. Now coming to the Redshift. Redshift is a kind of the data warehousing where we do store our data. We do perform all the data warehouse techniques. We do analyze and we share a report to the end user for the reporting and all. So Redshift is also important. Apart from that we have a few services like SNS, SQS. So SNS is like simple notification services where we do send the notification. SQS is also important and uh, so these are the skills which you will see everywhere which they have mentioned and these are the important one which we will be targeting apart from this EC2 EC2 knowledge also you should have apart from this Kinesis for the real time data processing right Kinesis is important Kinesis also will try to cover and uh, apart from that few more AWS services are there which is important from a data engineer perspective that also we will try to cover but mostly the important skills right which you will see and which you might have seen in all those job description are uh, this only and which is very much important we'll try to cover apart from this AWS services the SQL Python PySpark knowledge is also required so do prepare for that also and so these are the common skills but apart from this few more skills will come in this particular series related to the AWS which will be important for our data engineer uh, particular series. Only one prerequisite for this course is like everything we will try to cover from a basic to advanced. Only the thing is like you have to do a practice so create a account and we have to do a practice. 
so from next video we will try to start uh, AWS services and we will try to cover each and everything one by one we will try to cover each and everything with practical and we will try to build a multiple projects so that we will be having a complete idea about the data engineering